Now that we've measured up all our skin fold sites, we can now go about taking the skin folds. So first of all, remember that we've taken all our skin fold sites on the right hand side of the body. Unless we had an issue such as major burns um, or something on the right hand side of the body, we would then resort to the left hand side of the body. So, taking our skin fold. So, I'm using the Harpenden skin fold calipers, but the system's the same no matter which skin fold calipers you use. First, we need to find the sites that we've marked across, so we can first find the bicep one here. Now, with our skin fold sites, it doesn't matter where we have the body positioned because we've already got them marked. The idea is that we get them in the most comfortable position for us to take the measurement, and we're getting a nice light layer of skin with that. So we can just have Katie move her arm down like this, and we need to take that pinch one centimeter above. Remembering not to be too gentle, it's better to be firm and get a good skin fold uh, pinch. We then pull the skin away from the muscle. Take our skin fold calipers and measure in about a centimeter on that cross. Completely let go. One, two, take your measurement, and then release. Making sure that you've completely released your fingers from the calipers. So now, once we've taken the bicep measurement, we'll just okay, you spin around and we'll take tricep. There it is. So you'll notice whenever I take my skin fold measurements, regardless of where the limb is, I'm always taking my measurement perpendicular to the fold, okay? So not like this, not like this, always perpendicular. The bicep and the tricep are both vertical folds.